Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Atana Soft Studio. Today we are going to learn how to do creeping or shingling using Kodak Preps imposition software. So one may ask, what is creeping or shingling? Creeping or shingling occurs where you have a bulk of paper inserted in one for a saddle stitch. So after the insertion, the inner pages try to extend or creep out from the outer pages. So when this happens and you have a content in the inner pages so what will happen is if you have a content on the inner pages because the pages are pushing out you are likely to trim some content so there are two ways you can compensate for this. You can do this by moving the pages towards the binding area. So it means that the margins towards the binding area will reduce. Then the binding, the margins towards the outer margin, which is the foreedge, will increase. So when you cut, nothing will happen. The second option is we can maintain the gutters and the margins, but we will try as much as possible to scale down the images or the content so that by the time you cut, you won't experience anything. So what causes creep? Creep is basically affected by the stock thickness. So if the thickness of the stock is very high, it means you'll be getting a, a higher creep. Two is also the number of folds. A single fold, less creep. Three fold, more creep. Basically, that's it. So let's look at how a creep is. The blue line is our outer page. These black lines are inner page. And we need to trim along the red line. So if we have a content here, it means we are going to trim off all this content. This is also another a typical example of creep after the insertion. So if we need to trim here, all these will go off. So how do we make sure that nothing is trimmed off and we maintain? That's what we are going to learn today using Kodak Preps. So let's go to our Windows menu and open Preps. We are using Preps 9. So we've opened our Preps. Let's add our media. We are using this as our media. Let's add our stock size. But for the stock size, the most important thing, let's click Edit, right click, edit make sure the caliper is entered the most important thing all these areas apart from the manufacturer everything is very important so the caliper is what is going to affect the creeping so we need to make sure that the right caliper for the substrate is entered so let's add our stock 
to add our stock there are two ways either you click then you drag here or you just double click to add your stock then let's create our imposition to create imposition what do we do we go to job create imposition 210297 a4 four pages to view head right okay so let's add our marks see here this is a saddle state job so our color bar has been added our crop marks has been added our fold marks has been added let's add our saddle stage collating marks to show then our slag line also has been added so let's number our imposition but before that we need to change the binding scheme this is a saddle stage job yes saddle stage has been applied so we can now number our imposition so this is one four five eight let's adjust our margins so this will be zero is also zero okay can you see our collating mark now showing after numbering so that's it it's a 72 page so it will be what nine sets right so to do that to apply a creep we go to job layout details then here shingling you select auto okay yes so let's go one three four five six seven eight nine so you see our first page again 72 let's bring in our file um, we brought in our file now it's 86 page but we are adding only 72 there are two ways to bring in your file either you go to the pages tab you click on the file you drop okay so we have our entire 72 page you come to press run our file has been loaded So we've loaded our file up to nine sets. So you can watch here. You see here, it has created some margin. It's shifting the pages towards the margin. Look at our first set. This is our signature one. It's intact. Our signature two it will start pushing small small at a gradual pace that's all for today don't forget to subscribe to my channel atanasoft media for more interesting videos